Today we are going to see how we can make uh, this visualization, this kind of visualization, wherein is the HR dashboard simple. There, there are a lot of information which is given, total number of employee, how many male, how many female, what is the percentage of theirs, and then uh, how many is due for promotion, how many is not due for promotion, then how many are on service, how many are not on service, then uh, total employee, where they live, there's a distance wise employee retain, and this is you know total count wise detail. So this is the total uh, which why we want to make for uh, our own. So let us try to understand that how we can make this dashboard quickly. Okay. So we are going to create a blank dashboard. The first thing, okay. The first thing is we will create a we will add a you know. A, data source and thanks this data source I have got from our YouTube channel or I will just credit that channel to my note section down uh, and uh, quickly let us see so the data is this so clustered HR data which I have just, just got it copied from there so this is HR analytical data HR analytics data and HR employee data so I will just go and select to HR analytics data so this I'm trying to see now how the data is the data is in into a very raw format now when you understand that how we can convert this raw format into the actual format and then we can actually you know make it work for us now we'll go to transform data quickly and then we can see that what is the data so see this is the data if you can see data is probably separated by some tabs or something like that and it's very hard to actually understand but this is the first column which says that like age attestation level daily rate department distance education so this is basically by by, by comma or by by space so that's good we will just rename uh, this I already had imported this this is uh, practice practice which I will take later correct and uh, here what we will do is the first thing is that we are going to change this by splitting we will say split by delimiters so I, we have seen the delimiter is space or tab so we'll do tab and we'll do each occurrence of delimiters and we have to split in columns so we want that these should be transferred into a column so total, there are total 35 number of column but we make this a default so we do not need to change anything over here we will just say okay see it has done now my problem is that my column is at the second uh, row so i want to shift my column to the top row so plain and simple, I will just go to transformation and will say use first row as header. So the first row has become an header. So these are the changes which Power BI is doing and it is maintaining that. Okay, fine. I am doing these changes. You can always go back and cancel any changes. So this is it. And I think we are ready with the, with the data which we wanted. Done. So here my bracket chart and the data is ready. I will just click on close and apply. There are some pending changes, so let, let us let us wait till the time this this is completed. So it is showing HR analytics why because I already have the data, you know, while I was making this practice dashboard. But anyways, we will be using this the second one. So here I can rename my uh, page. I will say practice HR. Analytics done. Now the second thing which we are going to do is we are going to we are going to the fields and visualization part. And I, I want to change this background. So for changing this background, I need to go to formatting. Then I need to go to canvas or canvas background. And from here, I can change my canvas background ever data we want whatever kind of color we want 
I mean, is it some problem? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So it will change that. Don't bother. Now let us see what we want. We want four heading at the top and one at the side and two other two is here. So to make this quickly, we will insert text boxes. No, we will not insert text boxes. We will insert shapes and these are the shapes and this shape color i want to change uh, i want to change the color shape thoda sa we want to be have rounded okay we'll keep it rounded and then rotation menu changes tile may we'll change it to some better color done whatever color you want you, you can make it up so this is what i'm trying to make this is one so there are four tabs that are required so I, I need to align all of them see this is aligned this is again aligned this is again aligned so four tabs made what else do you require here one two three four then one big tab too small and too small okay so one big we'll just pop it v and one big tab here which will be in a bigger size done and then quickly one big one small and two big one small one big one small here like create one big and one small so this is since i'm giving you practice that is why i'm just copying it but once you learn you can make up your own design and then you can make it uh, the way you want it rather than cutting and pasting from somewhere else so i want it two values here this is just to give the look and look and feel in the background that's that so you can put you can make this dashboard without having these all you know shapes and all direct data could be pasted here but again if you want to get a book if you want to have a good visualization it makes sense to have this done so probably now we have created more or less the dashboard which we wanted here now we want to write hr dashboard and column there quick We wanted to change the, the base background, which has not been changed. Canvas. Oh, so we want to make the canvas somewhat black. It's not happening. Why? Because there is a transparency level 100%. Let's reduce the transparency level. Can you see it? Now you can make it the color of your choice, whatever color you want to have it. I mean, you should make it sound good, like it should not be very bad. If you want it black, then in that case, what we can do is we'll select all of our, uh, you know, designs and then we'll change its style to maybe white or something like that, where it, it is more good. Or you can change it to some, some, some color which resembles more better than that. Okay, and the and the back again. We we will not make it black. The canvas background is like some something other. Let us make it some. A, 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 a color which is more come which is more compelling and and something you need to set it on. 
yes you can you can have some 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 color like this or you can even go to this and try to understand that which color is giving you more better visuals and more right now we'll not waste much time on this canvassing and we'll we'll try to give it a bit black and white only okay done so this is our canvas now here we want to put a small shape and we want to make it we want to put a small shape and some color here and we'll make it some color of red maybe done and we will write here we will want to write here hr dashboard so we'll go to title we'll switch it on and then we'll say hr dashboard So you see it is coming at the top which we do not want so we will not put it here we will go from here to shapes and in shape we'll try to find where i can give i can give a text here and we don't want a border we want a text we'll switch on the text and put it here we'll make it bold we will make the color of it so maybe, 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 maybe something like this. And uh, we want to make it big so that it is visible. It is visible here. Done. Now, what next? Are we done? Now we want to paste. We want to have total employee, total male and female. Okay. So now here, see this is the field. So for having total employee, we need to create some 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 kind of summation where we can have all the detail. So let's have a, a new column. So let's go to here and, and ask we want to have a new table we want to have a new table we want to have a new table insert new table where i can find new table let me see no i want a quick i want a new table so for that i may go to New visual, more visuals, new measure, quick measure, publish, insert. You, you are going to model, we have new table over here. So we'll just create a new table and we will name this table as Prac uh, measures. So we are, we are just keeping it all all measures over here now so this is the default uh, value which it takes just to understand just to have to just to have something because any table cannot have i mean without any value they cannot make the table so this is the default which is there which we will change going forward now let's quickly count the rows of the of my existing table and uh, have it over here so i want to count my rows of this particular table so i will just say that we, we want a quick measure so a new measure a new measure is there and and the name is the name i will say total employee total e employee okay so total employee what we need to do we need to count the total number of rows that is existing in hr analytics so we'll just say count C O U N T count rows 
this is count rows and what we need to count we need to make it understand so we need to count this table you need to write just the first four character of the table prag hr or prag hr measure so measures we are creating we are counting this okay and we'll just close it and my first measure is created with the name of total employee now second i want to calculate what is the gender what is the male gender and the female gender so we'll create a new measure yeah we will write let's try to calculate male male is equals to how we'll calculate so we will say calculate so calculate in the earlier it was count here we need to calculate from where we need to calculate we need to calculate from total employees what was our measure name total employee so our measure was total employee so total employee comma what do you need to count so we need to find gender so gender is a field in hr context so we should be knowing so we are trying to find the gender over here and in gender what we need to check we need to check that how many males are there then the name male is already used for measure on a table okay so there is some duplication okay so we'll say p male prac male tg okay so we'll also change that employee as as a so we can change the prac total employee so let's say we don't have any prac total employee done now again we'll have a new measure and this time we will have prac female prac female so i hope you must be knowing the same formula will be repeated calculate first calculate the total employee prac total employee in my case right now prac total employee and in fact for them try one by one you know how many number of rows or we need to find the same into the gender aspect into the gender aspect so prac gender is equals to feed double quotes k under will say female we are done with that done now once this is created we want to have a percentage so again a new measure new measure may let's try to find what is a male percentage percentage male equals to how to find percentage it's simple you just need to use divide function and divide the numerator divided by denominator so you need to find what what it is male so we want to find male so this is the male one prac male in fact so which we already calculated prac male divided by total number of employee prac total employee this will give me the total number and we need to just put up zero in case something goes wrong so it zero will handle in that case percentage male done on the safe side we can copy it if you don't want to write okay 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 prac male hmm so we working on it next we will do prac female this time we will be dividing not male we will dividing female we want to replace it with prac female 
return created all four. Okay, now once we have the field here, now it makes sense to quickly create the visuals like this total employee, total male, total female, and the percentage. Okay, so here we are going to skip total employees. We just click here and we have counted total employee here. We'll just say total employees. Okay, so you need to deselect it and then click on total employee. And see, this is how it is coming. So this is something graph we do not want, we want numbers. So for numbers, you need the card. This card will give you the number. You resize this, place it somewhere here, done. And if you want the background should not be visible, you can just go to the part and change the background of it. In effects, you find background, change the background to somewhat matching matching background. And you can also change the color if you want. Let's say I want the color to match with this. This color will change to something red, something gold like this. And uh, this is the category level which is showing you at the bottom. So we do not want this category level. We can just remove the don't show the category level. And we will we'll try to switch it on somewhere from here. We'll go to title effects properties and we'll try to have the text title part see here so we'll just put the title here total mail total mail so and uh, you can just format it bold and you know in between and those those all stuff so now we can see the total mail aspect is here now we want to see, say, the percentage aspect. So quickly click on male percentage. Again, the same measure. You can change it to this 60 percent. If you put a healthy number, we need to work on reducing these numbers. It's no, not reducing, but increasing the other numbers. Click done. Just you can format it and you can reduce the colors and all so that it is a bit lower into the side. So I can just Since that is red, so I will have this black or something which, is, which will be more clear. So this is 60% done. So we are done with it. So once this mail part is created, it will be easy for me to create other aspects. I'll just copy paste it, we'll create it, we'll put it here, and we'll say we change this. This is now not mail. This is this is remove this, there is some, something that needs to be done. This is female. No, sorry, this is technical male. So this is total male. Yeah, this is this number I need to change. This is not total male. Uh, the text I need to change. The text has to be total employee, E-M-P-L-O-Y, double -E, total employee. Done. So we are now here total employee, total mail. Now we are going to do the same thing. Control C V. We'll copy it here. And here we are going to change this value to 
total female i will remove this male we will put it female we will go here we will go to general we will go to properties we will go to title and we'll change male to female done so total female is in front of here now these three good numbers you can actually see why why is using 60 60 60 so you have the percentage other within is you don't require a percentage over here and they should come in between this is 60 let us see what it says percentage male very good and what it say it says percentage male remove it put it percentage female it is showing in points okay so we need to go to format uh, and we need to change the formatting of it we can just change the format while while we are creating it so actually we need to change what we can do is since this has been changed here see this is the female is coming up uh, this part has has to be like from, yes from no zero i'll say percentage okay so i just change it to 40 percent so what what is the formatting is required we cannot change directly here we need to change the measure so we, i clicked it here i went to this measure i click this on this measure this measure came here i said here it was auto earlier i said i want zero value and i converted it to percentage so i, I changed the measure formatting so rather than any other over here uh, visual formatting done these all values are in front of you now now uh, next is uh, we, need, we need to create This is done, this is done, this is done. Can I quickly see? So there is something which is called due for promotion. So we need to find how many person are, have got have promoted and how many person have not promoted. Okay. So so let's quickly go to Okay, so here probably I took, took the values from here. I, I could have made this value here also. That is not an issue. Hmm. So here, if I wanted to add new measure, I could have add a new measure, a new measure percentage rack mail is equal to divide. Divide male black male where is black male divided by black total black total employee comma zero closed done. I don't know where is this this why it is giving me that it is black already existing. So, so there might be I have created I might have created a, a, a visual there that is why. You know, just change my name so that name benefit does not happen. So this is it. Now I will create one more measure. which will represent the female one and here we'll just remove it with rack female rack female and done now this column is not required we'll just delete this column Not giving me the main option of deleting. Shall so write not not giving. So we will see how we can delete this. Now going back to create other visuals quickly. 
So now we will go to the to the table itself. This is our table. We we'll just click it here, and we will say edit query, and the table is open. And here we'll want to see key. How we'll find promotions and non-promotions? Let us see. So distance from home. This is again we are going to work on uh, distance hourly rate and this 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 number of mega over time work life balance years at company. This is we. This is one point. How many years it is companies they are working in a company and this is. Year in current role. Now here we need to find that who all are working here for more than ten years and in the same profile. So we need to change those. We need to give promotion to those who are already working for ten years. Now that's an insight which you can try to find in your visualization. So now, now let us be very clear. We, we are just selecting it. And we are uh, adding a column. We want to give some condition. So we'll go with condition column, and and uh, and we need to name it. So we can say like promotion status if year at company. What was the field? It was year in current role. Sorry. If year in current role is greater than ten, so this is what we wanted to check. But is it greater than ten? If yes, this is due for promotion. Done. If it is not, you can simply lie write uh, not due. ठीक है, ओके, डन, सो प्रमोशन स्टेटस यू कैन फाइंड इट, नॉट यू नॉट यू डी फॉर प्रमोशन व्हाटेवर, नाउ दैट 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 वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड, वी विल जस्ट क्लोज एंड क्लोज सेव एंड क्लोज दिस, क्लोज एंड अप्लाई, डन now since that that is being made now we need to have again we need to have measures which can actually give me the total count due for promotion and not due for promotion so we are coming into this we are getting new no sorry we are going to quit we are going to new measure track due for Promotion. So this is we need to find how many of them are due for promotion. We cannot use simple calculate. We cannot add count because there is some calculation behind it. So we will say calculate. And what do you want to calculate? We will calculate to this total employee. Track total employee. There is a number that is total number that is there. Then we are going to calculate the field which we have added promotion status. Promotion status. If you remember, we just created that. So in a promotion status, what will we say? Due for promotion. So we need to say double equals two. If you remember, we had put it there. Due for promotion. Done. We're just creating it. I will just say new measures. Done. This time we are going to say how many not due for promotion. So we are just doing it. Not due for promotion. Okay. Here, where the change? I hope you must be knowing. Not due. 
You just need to find the value. What is it there? Done. So we found this number. Okay. Done. Again, you measure. We need to also find the percentage in case if it was required. So we will. We can just find percentage due for promotion. Track percentage due for promotion. So wow, what is the percentage of, of who are due for promotion? So if you remember, it is it is very clear. This calculate will be removed. And we'll quickly put divide. And the numerator is the smallest one. Due for promotion. Divided by the higher the higher value that is total total by so we'll get a percentage over here. Done. Woman. Okay, comma zero with this left this done. Then then what next? What was next? Due for promotion, not due. We are we are all clear in it. I count the total working years by service or total employee by job level okay 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 so let us quickly add here same we will will want to add c v we are going to paste here and here we'll say due for promotion let's remove this this is due for promotion so two Due for promotions are 78. And we'll have to change the numbers. Due for promotion. P-R-O-M-O-T-I-O-M. So this is the number which is due for promotion. I can even change this number from here. We'll remove this and due for promotion to due for promotion now here is coming zero that means there is some issue in my measure it is coming blank So due for promotion is giving me the correct numbers. Okay, that's fine. I'll just check. Total employee is giving me correct number. So this track due for promotion should give me the correct number. Track was new is equal to divide.
Mm. Need to check why why this is not coming. We'll just check that what 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 is the issue behind this? Why why it is it is giving us blank? We'll just check it out, and then uh, let's let's complete the rest of the part, and then I will come to this that why it is it is okay. So we basically don't want this message. The number is itself. We require our numbers only. Okay, okay, okay. The number might be different because the data is is different, and here due for promotion. So we can have the same kind, not due for promotion here added. Have we added this? No, due for promotion 78. So we will just copy this, we'll add the new. Nay, we, we have already had, in fact, we do not require this. We do not require this. So we already have this number. See, we, we just pasted it here and we keep it here. We'll just change this number. We require this number. We'll remove this and not, we'll just click this. So, and this is not due for promotion. So, we'll just go to the part of this. We'll go to title and we'll say not due for promotion. Done. So the number is clear. In some video, I'll just check that how 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 we can just find the errors and all. Okay. Now, once you have done done this, you have created this. Now there is something called year in services. So we need to transform one two more values to actually give you the correct picture. We'll go to this this edit query. Again, we are into the same table. Now, when you transform, we need to change the value of a column, which is service years. We need to find the service details. So, education, distance from home, we'll also need to change, change this. service years total working years it is only writing eight can can we change it and can we make something good we will just go here and we will say add a column column by example from selection and we will say no sample I am providing you a sample don't know that this is See, once I put eight, automatically all the number will be taken care of. Okay, but I need to change this. Uh, this heading. This is service. Service years. Now this is the, the beauty of Power BI. It automatically calculates all other details. It, you you need to train at times. It will not calculate on a single entry. It might take two entry to calculate. But it will see the first value and it will copy the other value depending on, on, on the on the stuffs. Then uh, we also want to come up with the levels. There was something here we have done wrong. So we see here. Okay. Now there is one more column which is set job role job satisfaction job level so job level is to what what is to is very really hard to find can we make it level two or something 
we can add we can add a column again column example from selection and here we can say if you remember it was two we can say level two and then press enter it will automatically calculate it fantastic okay and here we will say this is uh, what was it it was job level okay so this is again transformed once we have made this we'll try to close we'll go to home we'll say close and apply these two three columns more has been added into my table done now we want to create service years and and we want to show the percentage now let us see service years so this is service year we just click that this is a table which is coming up coming up we are setting it here service year and now we want to categorize that how many how, employees have completed which one of service so so in that with service year we want to find the total uh, the total years now see this is it and now let us create some results now this is you have got it now this is service years by number of employees so that 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 that, that has given you the value which we wanted to keep it here Now, here see, it is showing your tool tip service here, 10 practical total employee this much. Six, maybe showing six years, 125. Here, and this, this is called tool tip. We can have more tool tip here. If we actually go here and find in tool tip, we can have more data here. In tool tip, we can add, let's say, let us see how many uh, how many males are here in tooltip let's see how many females are here in tooltip no we are not going to put it here we are going to put it here no so now see when you go it will say total number of male how much total number of female how much so you can have you, you can add <coughs> more tool tip values here whatever you want to show while you are going and putting your mouse cursor over there so that is a tool tip value and done after that now we are going to add one more stuff that is job level so let us see now find let us find job level which you created if you remember we created job level i added this job level quickly and we want to make it here so this is job level is one and second is again we need to compare with it with the total employee that will give me a and which kind of report uh, I was required, I need to check. Uh, it was again this simple uh, column report was required. Fine, it's fine. Uh, so we can have no, 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 we don't want this. We want this to be changed to this. And uh, differentiate we might change some colors or something like that like that we'll go to this and we'll say general properties effect background we don't want to change visual borders we don't want to change visual borders we don't want to change we want to change shadow no we want to see the visual itself so where is columns see here we want to change to some red color or something to match our uniformity 
Done. This is it. So all the numbers are in front of you quickly. Okay. Now quickly we will we will add one more graph here, which can give me more detail. But for that we will have to add one more column. We will go to edit column, edit query. And here we will try to see uh, years at company. So, so, so we will just want to see that those who have worked more than eighteen years they need to rest, and then we will create more measures to it. Uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, table dot rename. So this is the table which I was working with, and here now there are two columns which we are working in. Pella was like uh, this year of services where we will work, and then we will work with distance. Distance from home. This is one one column. So distance from home. Oh, so somebody is living at 24 years, 25, 4, 5, 6, 7 kilometers, and also 2 kilometers. We need to take care of it. Okay. So here we will go to add column and we will have conditional column. And new column name, we will give it distance status. Distance status quickly. Okay. And for that distance from home, that is, if it is greater, is greater than twenty, let's say, we will say very far. Okay, we will add more distance from home is greater. If if it is not twenty, fine. If it is ten, far. If it is below ten, nearby. Close whatever. So that that is clear. Close. Very far, far. Yeah, I mean very far. Close. This metro ten years considered to be good. And if it's less than ten ten years, we can say very close. I mean this is our. our more this is customized okay so distance education distance status added that's final now how many years they are working service years okay years at company okay Okay, so this is we will take years in company column here. and we will add again, we will add a column and again this will be a conditional column and years at company the column name, uh, let us give the column name something retrenchment, retrench, R-E-T-R-E-N-C-H-M, retrenchment status. So if column name years at company. Years at company is greater than 18. That's it. You can have whatever value. So, layoff required. Else, if greater than 18, it's layoff. If less than 18, so on service, the service will continue. Okay, G, years of service. Okay. So, we have added one more conditional column. Now, done. Once we done, once we are done with this, we'll just close and apply, close and apply. This is this is created. Now, changing let 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 it change. Okay. Now here we'll come up with a with a with a vision value 
which gives you the distance of the of the of the, of the employees. So so let us say well, let us find distance distance one distance status. Okay, so distance status is the number one which we are going to add done, and this will come over here. And uh, uh, what do we are going to add? we are going to add again the same total employee because everything will become bind and calculate it with total employee and I said that this has to be this kind of graph okay now this is the graph which is here now you can change a lot of okay you can just make a big Okay, so this is this is this is simple. Once you click here, see everything is changed, and it is showing you all the desired numbers which we want to place. Done. Now we we have we have we have done this. We have done this. We have done this. What other figure we want? Any other figure is required on service. Okay, so on service and that 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 figures we require. Okay. So, here we need to add measures. So, here we need to add measures. And measures may... will be retrenched. And with the simple. So, let's quickly create one more measure. New measure. Okay. Okay, or you have below will be retrenched, will be retrenched. So, this is again, this is a prac table. Prac will be retrenched equals to calculate, calculate from total employee, prac total employee is the total number from which we need to do the calculation on then we need to find the retrenchment status which we added so this is a retrenchment status retrenchment status equal to retrenchment status equals to layoff i hope that this would happen the value we need to check that what is it Okay, uh, let us see. Will be retrenched. Let us add the value. Yes, number is coming. That means things are good. And uh, I want a text again. We will just. Click it here, format painter, do the format time. Will be retrenched. Will be laid off. Will be lay off. Lay off number. Layoff numbers. Oh, yeah. We can have a value here. We can have one more value for the layoff numbers. And, and if anything else you want, you can calculate. You can, you can do, do a further calculation for the layoff numbers and other, other numbers. So now if we can see all values. You can link it up from wherever you click. It can actually give it. Here we can have some conditional uh, argument. We will see that you, you should not show the blank ones. So we can just, for now, I'm just not doing it. But yes, we can do it. So this is, guys, a sample dashboard. Practice on that. Let's save it. Save. And we'll meet again in the next video.
feel free to like subscribe share take care